Hey, Lift Wild here. I'm out in uh, Michigan uh, North Woods. I'm working on my skills challenge out of, that I just received from uh, in my Apaco box for December. This is a skills challenge they do every time the box comes out. Uh, Creek does a little video and then gives you a little project to do and I'm out here doing it and we're making a survival slingshot. So anyways, got my trusty buck saw. Uh, M.I. Woodsman made for me. Check out his channel. I'll put the link down below. But let's get out here. Alright, I found one. I uh, This uh, branch off a beech tree. I didn't want to cut down a cherry tree. Um, and wild cherries are kind of nice to have around. But anyways, I found a beech tree. If you look at some beech trees or some apple trees, they got some good forks on them. Some cherry trees do too. But uh, this is green, so I just cut a branch off. And uh, you look at this beech tree, you'll see a lot of forks on the branches. Like that one would be another good one to try. So anyways, so that's what she looks like, about the size of my thumb. A little smaller on that side, but you can't get them perfect. And then I'll try to do this in about a you know fit, fist apart. I'm gonna trim this. I'm gonna go inside because it's pretty cold out here, and I'm gonna whittle this down and cut it down to size. This is just a rough cut. All right, let's go inside and uh, I'll whittle it down, and then we'll do some target practice. Okay, I'm gonna start carving on this and see how this got a little bit of a cant to the left so I'm gonna hold it like so and uh, so I'm gonna clean off all the stuff and round it up I'm gonna shave off just a, a bark like so I'm gonna round off the edges so it don't cut the rubber band itself. I'm going to cut a little notch in here. It'll help the rubber band stay on this side. And just do the other side. This wood's pretty hard. That one can come a little easier. So you got a couple little notches here. There and there. So it allows that rubber band to get sunk in. Yeah, let's give that a try. Okay, here's the finished product. See a little notch in there. I might clean that up a little bit better. This side turned out a little bit better. So that's going to, your rubber band's going to come here, and then your other rubber band's going to tie around. So that allows it to have a little grab for when you're shooting it. Okay, here's the second time. I tied it once, and... I forgot to hit the record button, so, duh. Alright, let's start with the first one. Got my one inch mark from the edge. I try to keep things consistent. I'm just anal like that. Go around and start giving some good tension. You can see it drop right into that notch. Again. Now this time try to stick your finger in the way. Come around, grab it with my other finger. Of course, I'm all thumbs now. I'm trying to there. See if that holds up. Let's do the other one like so. I'm going to take this finger and hold it there. I guess the more times you do it, the better you get. 
first time. It sucks right into that little groove that you put in there. Again. Now I'm going to stick my finger in like that. So when I come back around, I grab it with my other fingers. Ah, I messed up. Okay, let's go play. That's what she looks like. Okay, here's your slingshot. It's a lot like shooting a bow. Um, great for a bug out bag, that kind of thing. You don't have to build it, you can just have the rubber band with you. It'll do the job on a squirrel or a rabbit. Or some small game. Quiet, stealthy. Well this is a neat challenge. It reminds me of my childhood. You know, making little slingshots. Actually it works pretty good. You guys don't get a chance uh, get the Apaco box because it not only gives you gear but uh, challenges you a little bit so actually I'm getting uh, the hang of this thing forgot how much fun slingshots are all right you like videos like this thumbs up like subscribe share and uh, we'll see you guys later.